everybody, welcome to my very first studio vlog. My name is Katie and I am a illustrator. I specialize in watercolor and I also like to do some illustration on the iPad as well. Um, and I usually like to turn that into sort of like a watercolor look as well, but digitally. Um, I just want to start off by saying that I live opposite a emergency hospital and also right next to a really busy road and there's some construction as well so I'm really sorry for the noise that you might hear in the background um, I'll probably be doing a lot of voiceovers at 2 a.m. to try and avoid this so sorry about that hope you can bear with it for now though but anyway um, as I said my name is Katie I am Australian but I'm living in Colombia at the moment in South America so with the illustrations I make there's a couple of things that I like to do with them so I most of the, the main thing that I do with them is I make um, planner pages and like planner accessories stickers and things like that and I sell those on Etsy so I have an Etsy store I also um, really love creating patterns like fabric patterns so I usually uh, every time I do some illustrations they get a lot of uses so I'll make planner pages I'll make probably planner covers planner stickers and then I'll also make a fabric pattern as well which I upload to um, Spoonflower which is a site where you can buy fabric and also red bubble so okay so I want to start off the new year with some new designs so I really like the idea of like some monochromatic sort of blue different blue shades of butterflies and flowers so I'm gonna start off this week by painting um, some in watercolor some butterflies and some flowers and then after that I need to um, scan them and then I need to edit them and like clean them up on Photoshop so that I can use them in different projects and after that I'm gonna get straight into designing some different um, planner pages probably some daily weekly and monthly ones to begin with and then after that I want to work on a fabric pattern with the butterflies as well and after that I will just I just have a few extra tasks that I need to get done yeah so hopefully by the end of the week I have some if not all of those tasks completed that could be very optimistic so let's see and yeah let's just begin and get started okay <laughs>
Okay guys, so the jig is up. I actually recorded my intro for this vlog um, on Tuesday instead of Monday. I sneakily have already done <laughs> the watercolour butterfly painting, so I will get better at this for next week. So um, I'm just coming on to say that I forgot that I want to do some like uh, swatches to go along with the, um, the butterflies and the flowers because I want to do end up doing like a sticker pack that has like the illustrations but then also has some like just watercolor swatches as well as stickers so they can be really good for um, planning and journaling and that kind of thing so that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to paint um, some swatches and I really enjoy doing this I find it super relaxing like I find painting with watercolor quite relaxing in general sometimes I do freak out a little bit because I don't want to waste my paper so I'm like ah. um, you know I just get so nervous to make a mistake but at the same time I just love how unpredictable it is and like you can't always control the result which I think is really nice and but with swatches it's like total experimentation really like and they there's no like expectation of how they need to look or anything like that like um, just you know give it a go and see how they turn out so it's kind of quite freeing which i really like um so yeah i'm gonna paint those now and probably have a nice relaxing time and listen to a little bit more 
BBC um, Age of Cosmology. So yeah, really love listening to history documentaries and um, like podcasts and lots of things as I work because just like then your mind is uh, you know, you're not going over your own thoughts constantly, you're listening to something else and you get to learn at the same time. So yeah, I really enjoy that. So yeah, anyway, that's enough of me talking. Let's get to it. Butterflies are floating like your red hair in the breeze Spring awakening, new love takes me into lilac dreams Lay beside me, whisper softly your sweet empathy Crisp reflections on the water of you close to me fluffy boy sleeping in his bed behind me in his bed it's on my um stack of shelves that have my craft materials and um it's getting to be nearly 6 p.m and i don't know why but these little swatches which would usually be very quick and easy have taken me like couple of hours and I think it's just because I've been getting a bit distracted as I've been doing them I've responded to a couple of Etsy messages and um well I don't know that's pretty much it I don't know <laughs> I don't know why it's taking me so long but anyway um I'm in a quite comfy like flowy dress at the moment but at this time of day I tend to get the urge to change into some very comfy fluffy tracky pants so they are calling me so next time you see me if I film again today I will probably be in comfy pants <laughs>
right, it's now Thursday and um, I'm back with freshly washed hair and um, basically I don't, I don't plan any work on Wednesdays because we go out and do a few um, like household tasks, we do our shopping and things like that on Wednesdays so um, I did do a little bit of catching up work uh, last night but I didn't really feel much of it so anyway we're back on Thursday and today my goals are creating some stickers out of the butterflies and I also want to see if I can start on the weekly planner spread as well so um, that's going to be a lot of work because uh, well the stickers probably won't be as much work but the weekly spread definitely will be because uh, after I've got the design done which takes me usually a few hours to like sort it all out then I have to resize it into five different planner sizes so I resize to well the original I do in happy planner big and then I resize to the classic Erin Condren um, life planner size then I do a five which is the planner that I use and I also resize for happy planner mini as well those are just the five sizes that I do at the moment so yeah let, it'll be very ambitious if I can actually get all of that done today so yeah let's see how we go so I've just printed these out um, the stickers oh. and that's my file on the computer and that's my file here they have lost a little bit of the green tinge but that's kind of to be expected when it goes from RGB to CMYK that's pretty normal and actually I quite like the printed colors a little bit more like it's a little bit more monochromatic which is quite nice so yeah let me know what do you think of the size I had a little bit of trouble sizing them I didn't want them to be too big or too small so I think actually they turned out the perfect size. I still have to add my branding and things um, here, but these will be available very soon. Welcome to Friday. <laughs> Welcome from this. Where is he? There you are. Sleeping. Okay, so, so far I, today I've mostly just been working on the weekly plan. Um, I, I wanted to have this done yesterday. Um, what I'm learning from this week is that I keep over planning my days. So I keep giving myself too much to do that I just cannot get through. So now I'm going to make a start. Well, 
already started but make <laughs> hopefully more progress on the weekly plan and at least hopefully get the design done for today and then I'm thinking maybe the resizes tomorrow um, so hopefully I have something to print out and show you guys tomorrow and um, also hopefully get everything that I've created this week the weekly plan and the stickers um, listed on my Etsy store um, before this vlog goes live so fingers crossed Welcome to Saturday. So I hope you guys have had a really great week. Um, I finally um, finished off the design yesterday and because I don't usually work on Wednesday, I do usually work on Saturday. Um, so I've been uh, resizing all the designs to the different planner sizes like I was explaining the other day. So the Happy Planner Big Classic uh, mini Erin Condren and A5 size so I've just got one more resize to do for today but I've just finished resizing to A5 so um, I'm going to give that one a printout and see what it looks like and yeah hopefully it turns out cute so fingers crossed let's go and print it So I don't have a six ring binder uh, punch, but what I do to punch really easily is I take a previous planner page that has the six rings um, punched already and then I just mark in the middle. And then I take a singular punch and turn it over to the back and then I'll line it up and find the dot there. Try and center it, it doesn't matter if it's completely centered or not. And then I'll just push them all out. And then when I'm done with all the little paper bits, I put them in this box that you've seen before. I put them in this box and um, this is a box Kitten likes to sleep in and he likes to run into it and like really enjoys the sounds of the paper, I think. So yeah, I put that there for him and it just attracts him to come sit next to me <laughs> while I'm doing things. So yeah, I really love that and he, he really loves it. That's the finished product for the weekly spread. Um, when I was designing them, I was a little bit worried that all of this was going to be like too overwhelming and too much to look at. But now that I've printed it off and it's in the planner, yeah, I feel like it's perfectly fine. 
not too overwhelming for me. I quite like like a maximus, maximalist sorry, looking planner, like with a lot of things going on. Um, I'm not too much like to the point where it's super overwhelming, but I do like quite a lot of decoration. I know everybody is not like that. I know a lot of people like really minimalist designs, but yeah, I guess I am designing for the style that I like, but you know, also try and have a few more minimalist designs in the future as well. But yeah, at the moment, I'm just kind of going with um, what I love and what I hope other people would love as well. So yeah. So as well, if you're interested in any of the products that I've made this week, like the stickers here, um, or the um, weekly planner spread these will be up in my Etsy store by the time I've uploaded this vlog so if you want to check them out I'll put a link in the description and I'll also see if I can put one like in the cards so, so guys I think I'm going to leave my first ever studio vlog there for this week um, please let me know what you think about it if you have any um, constructive criticism any feedback um, that I can improve on like I would definitely love to improve um, what I'm doing so um, make something that you guys would like to watch thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully see you next week Bye.